Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to configure email address, uh, email alerts in Grafana, right? So here we are going to learn how to configure email alerts in Grafana. So here are some pretty side I mentioned. So first of all, we need a AWS account with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. That means uh, Ubuntu instance. Then we need a basic knowledge of AWS services as well as Prometheus and Grafana, right? And here, Next is we need to our email address, right? So that's the some preview side. So here we are going to learn how to configure email alerts in Grafana. So that's why first of all, here we need to install Prometheus Grafana, right? So the first step is we need to install Prometheus, right? So as you can see here, I mentioned how to install Prometheus on Ubuntu. So first of all, we need to Insta we need within the instance right so as you can see this is my instance with the operating system is ubuntu so as you can see here i successfully connected to my instance okay and then now let's install prometheus right on ubuntu so as you can see the commands so first of all we need to download the latest version of prometheus from the github repository using the following command so let's copy the command to download Prometheus. So as you can see, it's downloading Prometheus. If I run the ls command, so as you can see, our Prometheus file, right? Okay, now we need to extract this file. So how to extract? So the command is here, tar xv fz and the, our file name. Okay, so as you can see, it's extracted file. Okay, it's successfully extracted. As you can see, this is our extract folder. Okay. Now the next step is we need to insert this extracted directory. So let's ex uh, insert this extracted directory. Okay. Now if I run the ls command, so as you can see the folders of Prometheus and files and configuration file, right? Okay. Now, now the next step is here we need to go. We'll go to this location that system location and now let's clear the screen okay now here in this location i'm going to create this file sudo nano service prometheus dot service file so in this location i'm going to create prometheus service file using this command and here i'm going to paste this code okay so here from here to here so i'm going to create this prometheus dot service file Okay, now let's save the file and exit. Okay, after that here, we need to run these commands to reload our system, then enable our uh, server, then start our Prometheus service. Okay, so let's come uh, run this command one by one to reload our system first. And then next is we need to enable, enable our Prometheus service file. Sorry, Prometheus server. And now, the next stage, we need to start our Prometheus. Okay. So, okay. Now, let's check the status of our Prometheus. Okay. So, as you can see, it's active running. Okay. That means we have successfully installed Prometheus on our Ubuntu server. Okay. It's done. Now, now it's time to access our Prometheus in our browser. So how to access? So as you can see, if your service is running properly, then you can run Prometheus by running this public IP and the colon, and then the port number is 9090, which is default port for Prometheus. Okay. So you need to open this port in your security group. Okay. If you don't uh, open this port in your security group, then you can't access Prometheus in your browser. So how to access Prometheus? So first of all, you need to copy your public IP of your instance. And then hit on browser, the port number, uh, colon, and the port number is 9090 for Prometheus. So as you can see, this is our Prometheus UI. Okay. So you can see the alerts and the status. As you can see, in status Prometheus 1 and the status is up and the scrap, last scrap type and scrap duration and so on. Right. Okay, that means we have successfully installed Prometheus in our Ubuntu server. Okay, it's done. Now it's time to 
it's time to install Grafana. Okay, so first of all, here you can see, first import the GPG key used by the Grafana package. Okay, so let's copy the command to install Grafana. Then the next step is add the Grafana repository to the API sources. So let's copy the command to add the Grafana repository. So enter to continue. And if you don't want to continue, then press any key. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen. And now after adding repository, update your system package. So I'm going to update my system package using the command sudo apt update. Okay, it's done. Now it's time to install Grafana using this command sudo apt install Grafana. So let's install Grafana. Yes, I want to install Grafana. So as you can see, it's installing Grafana on our Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay. So it takes few seconds to install. Okay, it's done. Now, the next step is we need to start our Grafana server. So, the command is sudo systemctl start Grafana server. We need to enable our Grafana. So, let's enable. And let's check the status of our Grafana server. It so as you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Grafana in our Ubuntu. So after that, how to access Grafana? Right. So as you can see, login to Grafana. So how to access Grafana? So simple. Copy your instance IP. Hit on browser. And the Grafana default port number is 3000. Okay. So as you can see, it's loading of Grafana dashboard. That means, first of all, we need to log into our Grafana. So, it's loading the page of login. So, as you can see, login page. Okay. So, first of all, we need to enter a, our email or username and then password. So, the default username and password of Grafana is admin and password also admin. Then click on login. Then, okay. Never. And if you want to change the password of your Grafana, then you can enter new password and the confirm new password. So that's uh, in this step. So I want to skip this step. So that's why I'm going to click on skip. If you want to change, then change the first security. So I'm going to skip it. Okay. So as you can see, this is our da uh, Grafana dashboard, right? And this is our Grafana dashboard. Okay. Now, after that, it's done. We have successfully installed Prometheus. We have successfully installed Grafana, right? So now it's time to configure SMTP settings because here we are going to learn how to here we are going to learn how to configure email alerts in Grafana, right? So that's why here we need to configure our SMTP, okay? So as you can see, the third step is configure SMTP. TP settings. So first of all, here you need to enable email alerts. Grafana requires SMTP. That means simple mail transfer protocol configuration and SMTP settings specify the email server through which Grafana will send alert notification. So here, first we need to retrieve the password to give in SMTP configuration. Okay. So that's why first of all, you need to go to your Google account, then go to the security then in how to see uh, how you sign in your Google, then select two steps verification. Then enter your Google account password to verify it's you. After that, scroll down and select the app password. So enter the app name you want to give your app like Grafana, password like Grafana. Then click on create to create it. Then the password will password will generate. Okay. After click, uh, click on create, the password will be generated and noted down because we'll be using in SMTP configuration. Okay. Because it is single time. So you need to copy the password and paste in a secure place. Okay. After that, you need to open this grafana.ini 
a file and you need to paste this below okay so let's start first of all you need to log into your email address right so this is my email oh that's i am going to use this devops hint right okay so first of all go to your email then manage click on manage email you can see manage your google account okay after that you will find this page okay after clicking this manage your google account you will find this page after that go to the security then let's scroll down so as you can see here the mentioned two step verifications right so click on it and after that it will ask your email password to verify it's you you can see to continue first verify it's you so let's enter your password so i'm going to enter my password okay just a second so let's enter a password so i'm going to click on this app password right and after that you need to enter your app so i'm going to enter my app name grafana and click on create after that as you can see you will generated app password so this is your app password right so you need to copy this app password so i'm going to copy this app password and paste in secure so i'm going to paste in notepad okay so it's done so we have successfully generated our password okay now it's time to open this file right so the file is in this location slash etc grafana so i'm going to open this file using this command okay after that go to the smtp okay so let's scroll down and go to the smtp section And then okay here smtp and emailing okay here first of all it's enable remove this semicolon and this false replace with true okay after that here host so i'm going to check this so first of all here host you need to enter here now I'm going to remove this and you in host you can you need to enter this smtp.gmail.com colon 587 okay then after that here user so in user you need to enter your email address right that you want to send the alert so this is my email right so I'm going to copy my email address from here so I'm going to use this email, right? So I'm going to copy this and let's paste here in user. Okay. Then after that, the next is password. Okay. You need to enter your password. So I'm going to enter my password. So which password that we have generated, right? So here you can see we have generated our password, right? This password, so I'm going to copy this password and paste here in password. Okay. After that, the next is here. Skip verify. So it's true. So false replace with true and the remove the semicolon. Okay. Then from address. So here in you need to enter in from address. That's your
So from address, you need to enter your email, right? So first of all, I'm going to remove this. And this is my email address that I'm going to use here. Okay. After that, from Grafana. So let's remove this semicolon. Okay. So check for once. It's uh, first of all, enable true. Then host is your Gmail. Then user, right? Your email address. Then after that, password. Then here, skip verify true from address. And the gra name is Grafana. Okay. It's done. Now let's save the file and exit. After that, you need to restart your graph now using this command. Okay. Now, if you want to check the status of your graph now, then you can check the status. So, as you can see, it's active running. Okay. So, it's done. Now, the next step is add the Prometheus as a data source in graph now. Okay. So, let's go to the graph now. Here and click on home page and add data source click on add data source select prometheus okay then i'm prometheus and here you need to enter your prometheus url from here to here okay after that, let's scroll down and keep as it is and click on save and test. Okay. Successfully curate the Prometheus API. Okay. Now it's done. Now, the next step is here. Okay. It's done. Click on data source, Prometheus and server URL test button. Okay. Now the next step is here. Add a contact point. Right. So how to get. So get back to the graph now home page and select the alerting contacts point. Okay. So go to the graph now. Alerting contacts point. Okay. And here you can see your. Here, click on add contact point. Okay. After that, so after that, in contacts point, as you can see, first of all, here we need to enter a name graph on app, then select email, right? Okay. Then here, you need to enter your email address, right? That you can enter multiple email address, right? So you need to enter your email address here. So I'm going to enter my email address. Okay. So now after that here, click on test. Okay. Now after that here, click on test. So it's Test, send test notification after that here you can see after send test notification here now open your email id and you, you have given and there is you can see the test alert right so let's check so first of all here i'm going to click on send test notification test alert sent let's check so as you can see here you can see Test alerts, Grafana and timing. So on, you can see it's 10.50 a.m. 10.50 a.m. And the test alert, Grafana, you can see alert name, test alert instance, Grafana, one firing instance, test alerts and alert name instance and so on. You can see. That means it's done, right? It's succeed. Okay. Now, after that. Okay. So it's done, right? Okay. Now, after that, here, the next step is, after this, go back to the Grafana and click on Save Contact Point to save it. Okay. So, let's go to the Grafana and Save Contact Point. Okay. It's done. Right. The next, now. Okay. It's done. Right. It's saved. You can see. 
same. Now the next step is configure the notification policies. Okay. So here we need two alertings like the notification policies. So there will be a default policy. So click on edit it. So let's check. So here you can see click on edit it, right? Okay. So here you can see click on edit and change the default contact point to the we can we had created. So here it is Grafana, then click on update default policies. Okay, so let's check here. Okay, it's done. Okay. Okay, then our next step is we need to configure the alert rules to the sorry, configure the notification policies, right? So let's go to the graph now and go to the home page and go to the alerting and here click on notification policies, right? So here in this notification policies, first of all. As you can see here, it is now alerting the select notification policies and there will be a default policy. Click on and edit. Okay. So let's check default policy here. Good half an hour. Sorry. Here, click on this and click on edit. Okay. After that, you will find the page and here, let's select your graph now. Right. And let's click on update default policy. Right. Okay. Update notification policies. It's done. Now, let's go to the home page of graph now and go to the add, oh, sorry, alert rules. Okay. Now, as you can see, the next step here, we need to configure alert rules to get all email alerts. So now it's alerting, select the alert rules and select new alert rule. Okay, let's select. So here, click on new alert rule. Okay, then you will find the page. Okay, after that here, you need to enter your name. So my alert name is Grafana. I'm going to enter. And after that here, you can see matrix and label filter. So here we need to enter a matrix. So I'm going to enter a matrix here. You can see process CPO seconds total. I'm going to enter this matrix here. Select and select label is instance, right? And the instance value is here, localhost 9090. Okay. Then after that, let's scroll down and here, in this above, I'm going to enter a 0 0.7. You can see here, here I mentioned. Now select the Grafana manage as rule type. And in this expression, set thread uh, short as alert condition and change the IS above the 0 0.7, right? Okay. You can see here, 0 0.7 is a Grafana managed. Okay. Now, the next is here. After that, here I mentioned, you can see in the set evaluation behavior, create a new folder to store rule and evaluation group. So here is a folder name is CPU, then evaluation group name is CPU type and evaluation interval is 30 seconds ago. Right. Okay. So let's create evaluation group here. You can see new folder. CPU time. Click on create. Just a second. Process CPU seconds total. Okay. Then label is instance, value is nine. Okay, so manage. Then after that, in above 0 0.7, right? 
right okay check for once it's correct okay then after that let's scroll down and here new folder set evaluation behavior new folder so the name is cpu and click on create so folder is created cpu time okay so evaluation group when you took create also evaluation group save cpu type and the here evaluation group here time is 30 seconds okay click on create okay here i'm going to enter this pending period also 30 seconds right okay so let's check folder name cpu time evaluation group name is also cpu time pending period 30 seconds good okay then after that check for once keep as it is so let's check for once first of all i'm going to enter alert rule name grafana then here i'm going to use this metric process cpu seconds total insta label filter instance localhost 9090 okay then after that here i mention Here I mentioned 0 0.7 seconds. 0 0.7, right? In above, here I mentioned 0 0.7. Okay. Then here I created new folder with the name CPU time. After that, the next is evaluation group also CPU time. Pending period 30 seconds, right? Okay. Now keep as it is and click on save and save rule and exit so rule graph now saved okay now now as you can see after that you can see here is a folder name okay change the pending and to 30 seconds okay finally click on save rule and exit to trigger the email address so wait for 30 seconds till it fire the alert and check your email box so we need to wait for 30 seconds because because our uh, pending period time is 30 seconds so that's why we need to wait for 30 seconds after that we will have the alert okay so wait for 30 seconds so first of all we need to we have installed prometheus grafana then configure our smtp right so wait for 30 seconds So as you can see our email right firstly we, we have when we test our email uh, test alert so you can see the test alert graph now right that's the email and now we will have this email so i'm going to open so you can see graph for our cpu time that we have uh, add the metric and the local is 9090 for prometheus cpu time graph now one firing instance and the value you can see 0 1.05 b 1.05 c1 label alert name grafana folder instance and job you can see prometheus name alert name grafana grafana folder cpu time instance local host 9090 and job is prometheus so as you can see this is our email right so it's done right so in this session we have learned how to configure email alerts in grafana okay so first of all we have we have successfully installed prometheus grafana right and after that here you can see we have configured smtp settings right and then after that here add prometheus as a data source right and then add a contact points right and then after that configure notification policies configure alert rules to the get email alerts okay and then in last here we have we will have our email alert right that we have configured so it's done so we have in this session we have learned how to configure email alerts in grafana so thank you for watching and i hope you understand